So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem to niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob447 back at it again with another NCAA Basketball 10 video with the Hofstra Pride and today we're going up against Siena. This is the second appearance that they've made. Okay, now basically this is like round two because we played them already this season. But that was it was a pretty close game. We're still undefeated. This is the only team in our conference that really poses a threat. Maybe Niagara, but this is the only team that really poses a threat so i said you know what we might as well play them again and you know their court is weird because they have the high school three-point line that's it you know i don't know if it's a glitch in the game the creators forgot to put in the college three-point line for this team but it's it's the high school one and we're gonna try to exploit that but you know since it's their home court they probably are the best at it so you guys see tyson chambers gonna pull up for three knocks it down and guys also i just finished watching fast and furious fate of the furious honestly it's a two hour long movie it didn't feel like two hours the pacing was really good okay it, it didn't feel like two hours but uh it was a lot of ridiculous it was just some of the stuff is like that don't that you know that that can't work and if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about it's just so much probably the most ridiculous shit i've ever seen in my life because it, it was that's it's just crazy but what can you expect from fast and furious movies you know they go far out with their stuff but anyway you guys see the score is 11 to 5 we are losing right now and Devin Kennedy catches his man with a nice pump fake as he can get to the rim with the layup so still down by six with 10 minutes left to go in the first half Josh Everett's going to pull up, knock it down. If you're not going to contest, he's going to be the best at knocking down those. So you better bring your A game. You see Doug Gibbons stepping out for a three, knocks that one down, bringing us within three. But the the Siena Saints, they did get two points. So they did uh, actually go back up by five. But Damian Dunn working well under the basket, getting us that bucket right there to pull us within three yet again. And, oh, Joshua Everett could have got that three right there, but he missed. But that is Devin Kennedy getting a rebound and the bucket to go, bringing us within one. But the Saints answer back with a little jump shot. That is Flowers, Grant Flowers. He's good. Five for five so far in the game. And that is another bucket for the Siena Saints. So they're up by five with eight minutes left to go. Honestly, they're, they're beating us. They're doing well right now. But Joshua Everett, you know, he doesn't give up. He's going to pass to Tyson Chambers, who knocks down the three, bringing us within three. So we fast forward into action. You guys see six minutes left. Damian Dunn's going to try to take a little uh, jumper, and he knocks it down. He's four for four on the day. So we're doing well so far. And, ooh, that was a mean block. I swear Doug Gibbons blocked that with his elbow. Jared Griffith in the game. He's going to pass it to Josh Everett, who knocks down the three, tying the game at 27. So Doug Gibbons gets the rebound. He's pushing, trying to get something going. And he's going to get blocked on that one. But Jared Griffith is right there to get the layup to go. So game's knotted up at 29. Joshua Everett brings the ball up court, pulls up from three, misses. But Tyson Chambers is right there, fades away, and still knocks it down. I don't think the fadeaway was necessary, but hey, got the bucket to go. So Damian Dunn has the ball, trying to put on some moves, passes it to Tyson Chambers, who knocks down the three, putting us up by five. So this has been a complete reversal of roles. Now we're winning. We're up big, 10 points, and Doug Gibbons gets the layup to go. He's got nine points already. So with nine seconds left to go in the first half, we're up by 10, 43 to 33. And, ooh, Tyson Chambers is going to get fouled by Chuck Stovall. So he'll be going to the line. You guys see he's having, a, he's having a good year. 12 points, six assists, five rebounds. I'll take those numbers. And he knocks down the free throw. You know, it's only so much the Siena fans could do. They're not one of the toughest places to play, so they're not really going to affect his free throws. And he knocks down the second one, making it a 12-point game with four seconds left to go. He's got 14 points. Impressive. So one last-ditch effort for the Saints at the buzzer, but it will not be good. So we'll be going into halftime leading 45-233. So far, so good for us. You know, we're playing well. We got off to a slow start, but after that, we just found, we found our niche. 
All right, we started clicking on all cylinders, and we played a little more defense, and that's why the score is what it is right now. So if we can keep that up in the second half, I have no doubt in my mind we can win this game. You guys see, Sienna's only shooting 35% from the field. All right, we're playing good defense. We got to keep playing good defense because this is a good team. This is a tournament team, Sienna. All right, this is a tournament team, all right? I can see them getting in on the bubble, all right, because they are a good team, but we're a better team. And we have to show that, all right? We don't have the most depth, but our starting five is arguably one of the best in the nation. In the nation, all right? Devin Kennedy, you know, he's still a little raw, but we never had great centers unless you want to talk about Damian Hastings. But, you know, Damian Hastings is probably the best player to ever grace the floor in, in Hofstra, okay? Let's be honest. And Justin Rivers commits a foul right there. So Damian Dunn will be going to the line. Averaging 16, 10, and 2. Okay. Misses his first free throw. That's not good. That's not good at all. But as for his second free throw, knocks it down. Making it a 14-point game with 12 minutes left to go. But the Siena Saints did bring it within 11. So we fast forward at 8 minutes. And Doug Gibbons knocks down a jumper. I think Doug Gibbons is our best uh, small forward we have, we have ever had. Tim Crawford, he, he was good, but uh, he wasn't no Doug Gibbons. Doug Gibbons is special. He is really special. So you guys see, it is now 65 to 50, up by 15, and Damian Dunn catches his man with the pump. It gets that layup to go, so up by 17. This is starting to turn into a blowout. You guys see Vance Dobson getting fouled, right? Why do I keep calling him Vance Dobson? Victor Dobson gets fouled right there. You know... I'm starting to use him more often because we need, I think we need at least two dudes off the bench. And he could be that dude off the bench. He, I put him in at either the three or the four, all right, to give us some size. And Jared Griffith, you know he comes in, you know, if we're trying to go small. So that's what he does. And Jared Griffith, speaking of, gets that bucket to go under the, uh, under the basket. So you guys see, this is a 22-point game, but... The Saints aren't giving up. They're, they're still trying their best. This game really turned into a blowout. Victor Dobson sets a pick for Jared Griffith, who knocks down the three. This game is getting out of hand. We're up by 19. We got our bench in the game, like our walk-ons. Victor Dobson takes it to the cup. Does not get the foul called. That was a lot of contact on that one. But Givens, he's going to go to the basket. Gets fouled by Lewis. Ray Givens, you know, you've never heard of his name probably before. He doesn't get into the game a lot. He's a walk-on. Knocks down the first free throw. You know, that's what I like. I mean, when the sub glitch, and the sub glitch actually did make a return. I thought it was going for good. But, no, it did make a return. I don't know what it is. This game has been so glitchy. It's probably because it's an old-ass game. I mean, this game came out in 2009. That's eight years ago. I got nieces and nephews that weren't alive when this game came out. So, yeah, that is just crazy. But we're well, about 21 past the sticks. But we got Philbert Nance going to the line as he got fouled by Richard Calloway. Philbert Nance, you know, doesn't get into the game a lot either. Knocks down. Oh, no, he missed the first free throw. But, yeah, just another walk on because we had to fill up a lot of spots because we, we didn't have a lot of scholarship players. But he knocks down the second free throw. So that will put us up 88 to 66. But now the score is 89 to 68 with eight seconds left to go. You guys see Haywood trying to put on the moves. Gets blocked. That was just a shitty attempt at a shot right there. And we're going to end up winning the game 89 to 68. Goodness gracious, man. This game was competitive when we when we started. But after that, you know, we took them reins and we started running. We started playing better defense. We started scoring. I mean, we just played like a team in that second half, which led us to getting the victory today. Sienna, they did not have enough firepower. So we win round two. Again, we still stay undefeated. I mean, this is this is a season where we've been undefeated for a long time. Now, I don't think we've gone into the tournament undefeated before. So this is interesting. So you guys see, starters did what they had to do. Jared Griffith, balling out here, 12 points. I see you, but Damian done 13 and 16. Amazing. But anyway, this has been another J. Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too, and we be swerving in that Audi coupe.